This week, on Three Scenes, Two Mashals, and One Beer, we're on a mission from Gad. You got us into this parking lot, pal. Now you get us out. With the Blues Brothers. I guess you're really up shit creek. And we got Goose Island IPA. Stick around, you bunch of dick clowns. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Mark Stunch. As I said in the intro, we're on a mission from God, John. Right? Blues Brothers Day, John. Mission from God? Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were having a stroke. What? Anyway, we've got the Blues Brothers, which keeping it to three scenes, almost fucking impossible. So we are getting a bonus scene. Sure. I named three scenes. You could have called it four scenes. Maybe even five. What's your fucking problem today? Oh, nothing. Just didn't sleep much. Let's roll. Or hit it. We're the good old Blues Brothers boy band from Chicago. We also have Goose Island IPA as a Chicago beer. Well, before AB took it over. But it's one you can get anywhere. It's a decent IPA. But the movie? Absolute fucking classic. With a capital C. Okay, you want to review the beer or dive into the movie first? 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. I agree with the Blues Brothers. Hit it, Tom. Okay. Didn't really answer my question, so we'll go with the movie. Our first scene involves another wonderful love of my masturbatory dreams. Is there a female that isn't part of your uh, fucking issues from childhood? A lot of it depends how desperate I am at any given moment. Can I continue? Sure. Anyway. Jake did Carrie Fisher's character, who is credited as Mystery Woman. He must have done it wrong somewhere along the way. Because a woman fucking scorned. She's like a fucking stormtrooper in this. She can't hear shit. You're not gonna get away from me this time. Well, luckily, she misses and he uses some Mac Daddy charm to try to Get out of it. Oh, please don't kill us! Not that one. I went out of gas! Okay, not much different. Someone stole my car! But she buys it. Once he takes the magic glasses off. Let's go. That's the type of woman I want. One that can't hit you with a gun? Yes, yes. And I can grab a cinematic kiss, drop her, and say, let's go get some fucking beer. Not saying I'd mind. The beer pot, I mean. But she was apparently hanging around too many stormtroopers. Let's watch again. <laughs> Didn't hit shit. Yeah, well, kind of would have stopped the movie in his fucking tracks if she fucking murders him in the sewer. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, next scene. It's one of my favorites. What's going on? Ah, those bums won their court case, so they're marching today. Oh, yeah. This scene involves a lot of factors. But the Nazis, this movie was back in the 80s, before a bunch of whiny pussies who can't win a fucking internet argument started calling everyone Nazis. Red lightly there. This isn't about politics. Relax, Tonto. I ain't talking politics. I'm talking panty waist crybaby. Oh, you don't agree, so you're a Nazi. Oh, I can't argue with your fucking point, motherfucker. Just because I disagree and can't present my disagreement with facts. Just because I disagree with you doesn't mean I want to fucking gas you. Cut this shit, people. Yeah, back to the show. Went off the rails there a little bit, sorry. It's okay. All right, I'm here to support you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Okay, so they're stuck in traffic preventing them from their mission from God, so... See, we all hate Nazis. I mean, real Nazis. We all hate traffic jams and assholes blocking the road. So this tickles my balls. Just saying. All in one scene, it's a pleasure watching them go right through the blockage, kind of like a butt suppository, cleaning up the poop jam. How much time do you spend in a bathroom, Tommy? What do you mean? All this jerking off and shitting all the time? My God. Oh, jerking off happens randomly. Bathroom time, I spend about a good half hour. I have it blocked out to take care of the backups. Holy shit. Mission from God. I, I see what you did there. Yep, I'm a legend. So, scene three, the restaurant. Come on, seriously, you guys. The food is really expensive. The soup is fucking $10. 
They're trying to get one of their bandmates back, who's now a uh, Mater D in a fancy restaurant. And they're not going to take no as an answer. No way. We're on a mission from God. I love it when he asks how much for the women. How much for the little girl? The women. How much for the women? That's what I said. Your daughters. Sell them to me. Ha, <laughs> classic. Our scene after scene in this film is so funny. And I'm going to squeeze... Two scenes into one. Probably after Steve McQueen's bullet. This movie has one of my favorite car chase scenes of all time. First, the mall. Handsome burgers. And the final chase. Crash after fucking crash. It's hilarious. Plus, I've always wanted to drive to a mall. I I thought you did. Nah, I was really fucking drunk and drove into a mall. But not through it. Oh, my bad. Yeah, those walls are not as easy to get to as it looks like in a fucking movie. You do 50 miles an hour, it hurts. Okay, let's rate this thing. John Belushi is like my hero. So I feel it would be slapping him in the face if I didn't give this a full five beers. I laugh from start to finish, and we didn't even scratch the surface on the great music involved in this movie. <laughs> Well, funny, not that one. Oh, hi, ain't bad. No, you're right, it ain't. Wow, you're agreeable today. Can I have the rest of that beer in the fridge? Does this look like a fucking charity, motherfucker? Ah, I had to take a shot at it. Well, you don't have those Belushi eyes. Nope, but I will give this a 4.5. 4.5? You Nazi. Funny. See, I just described every millennial on Facebook with a one-liner. Nice, but really, I love this movie. But that being said, you said we had to be a little more critical. And if I gotta be honest, I love Belushi a little more in Animal House, which I gave a five. All right, fair enough, Hitler. You're an asshole. That's the spirit. Good old-fashioned insults. So what are we gonna do about this beer? I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 6. It's a good, smooth IPA, but there's better. But still good. Yeah, I'm gonna give this beer about a 3. It's all right. We had to get away from Star Wars. You ready to dive back in? One more week. I want to do a a movie about a guy I think people misunderstood. His comedy. And we wouldn't be doing this without him. My dad? Your dad isn't my dad. How do you know? For fuck's sake. I know. Okay, but I'm not a walking boner for nothing. He got around, that's all I'm saying. You done? Sure. Getting back on track. Tom Green. He was like the grandfather of this online public access shenanigans. Oh yeah, I like that guy. Road trip? No, Freddy got fingered. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good flick. Okay, and how's about, uh, Lagunitas IPA? Yes, sounds good. Great show. Okay, after that, we will jump back into Star Wars. I think we're going to go to the originals. We're going to save the extra ones probably for last. Sounds like a plan. You got any tonight? A beer, a porn, and a couple of tugs. Forget I asked. You can't go for more than five minutes without talking about touching yourself. Be kind to the ones you love. And I love little Tommy. See you next week. Bye-bye, assholes.